How's it going everybody? Ben from Budget Pokemon here. On this video I'm gonna be opening this Pokemon 151 Ultra Premium Collection. It's finally here. I was so hyped when this got announced. Mainly because it features the best Pokemon as we all know. Being Mew. So without further ado, let's cut this open I suppose. This seems like a good way to start. And then right here, that should be enough to rip it open. There we go. Okay, I've had some luck with Ultra Premium Collections in the past. If you do recall the um, the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection that I opened a little while ago, I did pull the the Umbreon VMAX, the alternate art from Evolving Skies. I'll, so yeah, I had some luck with the, with the other Ultra Premium Collections. Um, this one is a bit different from the other ones. This is just like, I don't know, normal carton. The other one was... was way harder. Okay, so the presentation itself, let me just show you, you flip this open, um, my metal card has fallen out. Okay, so this is actually the metal card. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, I think CGC still grades these. So, I mean, this looks pretty good. So I might actually send this in to, to CGC. I don't know if they, well, there's something there. Maybe that can be scrapped off. But yeah, metal card, very cool. Let me put that to the side and take out the other ones. Oh, this can just be taken out like this. That is very cool. And then be slid out. Here is the, the Mewtwo promo. Hang on. Okay, so here is the Mewtwo promo. Very, very cool card. Of course, in the Japanese Pokemon 151, this is a card that you could just pull. In here, it's a promo. And this is what I'm really happy about. That this card is also a promo. The Mu EX that in, once again, the Japanese version, and actually they seem to have gotten the sun effect as they do with the Japanese one, at least a little bit. Okay, so here is the code card for this ultra premium collection. Enjoy. And here is the card once again without the, the wrapper. Yeah, okay. This looks really nice. I wasn't sure on the card at first because... It almost looks like that Mew isn't the main focus, there's just so much other stuff going on. But it's actually growing on me, I really like this card now and I'm happy that it is a promo in here. Okay, so here are the other contents, as, I, as I've said in the beginning, presentation for this is amazing. You get of course a ton of, of Pokemon 151 booster picks, so let's take those out first. And then what else do you get here? You get a booster box by the looks of things. A, a nice booster box, okay, which also has something inside. Let's open this one up as well. Okay, there we go. That was very hard to rip open, but here we are. Um, what's inside? Or oh, just a, um, a divider. This is pretty, pretty cool. Nice booster box, of course, these coins and these dice, you already seen those. But here, this is, this is also super, super cute. This Mew coin right here, it's so shiny that I can't even show it off. There we go. Holy moly, this is a super, super cute coin. You know how much I love Mew. So this is just, this is my personal favorite product of 2023 so far. Holy moly. And of course, the, the play method I'll be using going forward. So let me just roll that one up. Okay, just to give you an idea, this is the full playmat zoomed out a bit. It's actually really, really nice. I might be using this for a few videos going forwards. But anyways, this is a bit too far away, so let me zoom in again. Okay, so here we are, a bit zoomed in now. Um, Mew is looking very cute, which I like. I unfortunately do have to cover the face to put the pulls here, I suppose. I have the boosters right here, 16 booster packs. So let's see if we can't pull anything here. I have yet to pull a special illustration rare, so I'm hoping we get at least one of those in this opening. Um, let's see, we have a Cubone, we have a Kovolpix by Kavayo, very cute, Caterpie. And let's see, Pikachu, that's a cool one. We have a Ghastly, and we have a Mewtwo. Hey, that's a really cool looking Mewtwo, illustrated by my favorite artist, Akira Igawa, of course. We have the energy, and here is the code card. There you go. Okay, so out of the the three um, Ultra Premium collections that I've opened so far, I mean, I've opened the um, the Celebrations one. Um, I didn't have a channel back then, but I also got really lucky from there. 
Okay, so apparently my microphone recording messed up there a bit. Um, I spotted it though, so I don't know how much we lost in terms of the, the quality, we'll see. Um, this is the second pack that we've just opened. So we'll see what we can get in this one. Maybe we get something in this one. So as I was saying, um, I've opened the, the three Ultra Premium Collections that I did open. Um, being the, oh nice, an Arbok EX. That's like the third time I've pulled this. The three UPCs that I did open were the Celebrations UPC. When I did open that one, I didn't have a YouTube channel yet. Um, but I got very lucky with that one as well. Since I pulled not only the Charizard from that one, I also pulled the Umbreon Gold Star from the same UPC. And then of course the, the recent one, the Charizard one. That I've opened, I pulled the, probably one of the, no, it is the best card I've ever pulled on the channel. The Umbreon VMAX. Still feels surreal to me that I actually managed to do it. But you know, it is what it is. Here's a cute Raichu and a holographic energy. Really like the addition of the holographic energy in, in Pokemon 151. Even though they're not worth much, if, if anything, they're still very, very cool in my opinion. I really like them. And of course they use the old the old Cosmo Hollow Foil pattern. So that's always a plus in my book. But of course the the reason or what we want from Pokemon 151 is of course a special illustration where I've said it in all of my openings so far. Doesn't matter which one you pull, because every single one is a banger. Not on this one though, just a ditto. And here is the code card. Every single special illustration rare is a banger, so if we get at least one, I'll be very happy. There's also the potential to pull the golden Mew. The, the normal one, because this is the metal one. There's also a normal one in this one. So there's, there's the potential to pull that one, which I'd be very happy about. Or just the normal Mew EX, which I, I haven't pulled either. Which I really, really want for my collection. Nope, just a cute Dragonite in here. Kind of drying up with the pulse right now. We've only managed to get one Arbok. We'll see if our luck can turn around. So far from what I've opened of Pokemon 151, um, pull rates seem to be a little tough in my opinion. I don't know if that's true. But so far I've had some, some pretty bad luck with my with my openings. I did open a booster bundle, as you see, in another one minute, and I managed to only get one pull. It was a Bulbasaur, so I wasn't too, too mad about that. It was a very cute Bulbasaur, but still only getting one pull, like legit one pull, nothing else. One illustration rare, and that's it, from one booster bundle. That is very, very rough. That is very rough. But you know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Luckily, we'll be able to finally get a special illustration rare in this opening, surely. Right. That's how it works. If you wish for it, if you wish for it, you get one. No, it is the Pikachu, though. Yo, this is a really good one. This is like one of the best illustration rares you can pull in this one. And a wheezing at the end there. Put this here. And here is the code card. Okay, the Pikachu is like the best, I'm pretty sure this is the best illustration rare you can pull out of Pokemon 151. It is a very, very cute one. So this is a really, really nice pull. Let me just put this here over the, the Psychic Energy. And then the last one from, from this pile, we still have this pile left. So let's see, at least we've gotten, we've gotten an illustration rare so far. Um, not the kind of illustration where I was hoping for, of course. We have a seal just sleeping on this. Doduo, Tentacool, looking very cool. We have the Magneton, Nitto Queen, Victory Bell, we have a Sand Shrew, Seedra, and a Stormy. No holographic energy at the end there either. But at least, at least, hey, at least you get the code card, so at least you get something out of it. Even if the pack for me was completely a dud, it is what ifs. So what else do I want to talk about? I guess upcoming videos. Um, I don't know if my CGC cards will finally be able to, to, to get back to me. Um, I did add, or I, I made a Twitter post or an X post um, on the matter earlier. 
and I, I did call the, the customer service agent because they were delivered on September 25th. Yo, build, tr build transfer. Nice, a full art and a holographic energy to top it off. Here is the code card for you. So the cards were delivered back from the from the US on September 25th. They actually received them in Munich on September 25th. And last time I got a I got a return that was the reholder return. Um, that only took a day to ship out from from um, CGC Munich from CGC Germany to me via Intex. Um, this time around it seems to be taking a little longer. Um, but once again, I did call the customer service agent and they did state that I should be or I should receive them next week. So we'll see. We'll see. If I do receive them next week, then that's of course the the video for next Saturday that's coming up. If not, then I'll I'll think of something. Probably a another Pokemon 151 opening because hey, why why the heck not, right? Why the heck not? Okay. So we had a drowsy sitting on top of a building, just chilling there. We have a very happy and cute looking Bulbasaur. Let's see, Growlithe. There's another build's transfer. Golbat. Leftovers. We have a Clefairy. We have a Machoke. Okay. Another illustration rare. Don't mind if I do. Okay, I guess I guess that's fine. Um, we only have a handful of booster packs left, about five. So we'll see if we cut. Well, we already got something pretty nice here. The Pikachu, that's very nice. The builds transfer. You know, I do love me some full art trainers. I think, I think I might also already have that in German, but not to worry. Another copy of builds transfer can't hurt, right? Ponyta. We have a Graveler. Protective Goggles, Arcanine, with a Butterfree, Beedrill, and a Vileplume. Wow, three? Three Leaf Pokemon there, or Grass-type Pokemon in a row there. Would have been perfect to top it off with a, um, with a Demi-God pack of Venusaur, but you know what it is. You can't force it. That was really easy to open compared to the other ones. So maybe that means there is something very special in here. Actually, if it's if it's easy to open, that that doesn't work, right? All right, Ponyta with a Poliwag. So yeah, the the CGC video. Hopefully next week, and unless I don't get it in time, then it will just be another Pokemon 151 opening. I'll think about some. I think this is a Demi God pack. I think this is a Demi God pack. If this is a Charmeleon, holy moly, we have a Demi God pack! Jesus Christ! Okay. Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, yes! Finally a special illustration rare, holy moly! And it is from a Demigod pack, Jesus, okay. It is from a Demigod pack, G okay, okay. This is definitely a very good product. This is definitely a very good product, okay. Okay, let's just... Let's just look at all of these up close because this is very special. Charmander, Charmeleon, and of course the Charizard. Yo, okay. The Charizard is kind of legit. I'm also pretty sure that the Charizard is actually the best special illustration rare you can pull. Pretty sure this is the best one you can pull. Of course, well, of course it's a Charizard, right? Yo, this is super, super cool. Okay, where do I put this, man? I guess I'm running out of space. We'll put you right here. Guess we can put the Arbok like kind of like right there. Holy moly, and we still have three booster packs left. Um, what did I tell you about me and Ultra Premium Collections? I always have really good luck with Ultra Premium Collections. I don't know what it is. But man, oh man. That is amazing. Finally, a special illustration where, and it is... The best illustration rare that you can pull in the set. Yo, okay. Okay. Very, very nice. And a golden psychic energy. Back to back pulls. Okay. And the normal Charizard EX. What is wrong with this box? Jesus. Okay. 
Now, now the pulls are coming in. At the very end, the pulls are finally coming in. We have a golden psychic energy. Which to me is kind of odd. Like, why do they put a normal... Oh, maybe because of Mew. Maybe that's why they added the golden psychic energy to this set. But then the... The normal Charizard EX. Also pulled from the same box that we pulled the... The special illustration rare. What is going on with this box? This is so odd. Still two packs left though. So we'll see what we can do in these last two. Dude, if we get another pull, that'd be three pulls in a row. That'd be a hat trick. And if that happens, the universe just implodes. That That's not possible to get three pulls in a row, right? We can't let the universe implode, so technically we don't have to get a pull in here. Let's see. Let's see if there's something in this one as well. Jesus, okay. At the end, <laughs> we have three pulls in a row. The universe is gonna implode. It, it's not my fault, it's the Psyduck's fault. Look at him. Look at him. And a Moltres there to top it off. Of course, here is the code card for you. And here is the Psyduck up close. Very, very cool. Okay, it's just it's just standing there not knowing what to do. That's the, This is me right now. This, this is me right now. Like, what is going on? I'm so stunned. One last pack. Surely, surely this doesn't have anything, anything in it, right? <laughs> surely. We've gotten more than we, than we wanted from this. Man, oh man, okay. Not only did we get a special illustration rare, so many, so many illustrations. Like the Pikachu, we also get the, the builds transfer, a full art trainer. Yo, this, this was a stack box, I tell you. Let me tell you. Okay. Okay. Not a pull in the last one, but of course I cannot be upset about this box. Jesus. Okay, so this is what I ended up with from my Pokemon 151 Ultra Premium Collection. Really, really happy about the pulls, of course. As I've said, I always have good luck with this Ultra Premium, with these Ultra Premium Collections. It's actually insane. Um, this is my highlight still. The Mew EX. Thankfully, this is a promo, so we don't have to, to chase that in, in the set itself. And Charizard, of course, that's the best special illustration where you can pull. Really happy with this one. And I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated. Check out this video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. And press this button to subscribe to the channel. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Hope we'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace. Take care.